All right, fine, fine, Winter. I'll listen to another corpse song because the last one was actually pretty awesome. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah okay uh, listen just because you don't like the fun stuff doesn't mean i don't get to enjoy the fun stuff and proceed to drag you into it i like funsies just i'm learning new funsies this is the kinds of funsies that i could really jam to for hours i'm not gonna lie uh okay guys jokes aside um we're about to play probably my favorite corp song it's called cat girls are ruining my life and Aegis told me right after we stopped filming the last one that he really enjoyed Corpse's part, which means I wanted to show him a song that's purely Corpse. Um, we've already both heard E-Girls Are Ruining My Life. That's why we're not going to do that one, even though it's probably the bigger one. But this is also my favorite Corpse song. So we're going to take a listen. Aegis is going to tell us what he thinks. And I think we're all going to have a laugh because this song is pretty funny. Now, All right, Aegis. should I listen to the entire thing straight through, or go through like the first or two verses and then pause? Uh, you know, I would pause it when he gets to like the end of a chorus, and if you want to re like rewind a little to kind of keep yourself in the groove. But uh, you know, even though he's he's the guy is a good guy, he's promised he's not gonna, I guess, copyright strike anyone for playing his music. I still would take the time to stop and actually analyze what you're listening to, show some respect, right? True, and YouTube be YouTube. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Three, two, one, and action. Make a stack, pepe laugh, got all of these bitches, man, she saw me in my mind. I'm give up bands, I feel like Twitch stand to that. I, this bitch finna give me whiplash, took my fucking breath away. I'm finna take that shit. Okay, I just got to the second verse. Uh, I actually had to l read the lyrics as he was going through them because either I couldn't hear it or couldn't make it out. But then I also realized that either there's stuff going on in the video that is kind of connected, or there's just no connection at all. Since it, the lyrics, I, I don't know if they would actually have a connection to the video at all. <laughs> Am I right? No, there. Um. There is a connection to the video. He uses, um, I guess, anime background videos. And a lot of people think it ties more into, I believe this is the video where it shows, uh, God, what was it called? Attack on Titan. Heaven. Oh. Oh, the, no, the, I think this is Heaven Fate, isn't it? Or Fate, Fate Heaven. And it's the battle between True Assassin and... Oh God! Anyway, it's it's true assassin and somebody. It's it's when he's got the it's the guy with the face mask versus the guy in the blue, right? Uh, let's. Oh wait, that might be never satisfied. Yeah, this well, it, it's definitely not. Uh, it's definitely not Attack on Titan. But what made me think is because there's a scene where like someone is starting to chow down and somebody's like back of their neck, and I was like, oh, that's that's something like that would happen on Attack on Titan. But I guess I guess not really. They're not Titans in this. So the answer is no, the videos are not tied directly into the songs. It seems that he he chooses parts from animes that reflect maybe his emotions in some way or another. Um, <laughs> Never Satisfied's video is, I think, the one I was just describing. And they, people think it kind of shows the duality between his internet personality and his true personality. Because at the end of the battle, um, between the two of them, the the true assassin, who's like the masked character, takes over and kills the other person. Yeah. So, so no, uh, you don't need to watch the video that closely, but it's still, it's entertaining. Okay, uh, I'm gonna queue up the rest of the video then. Sounds good. Like no face, make it rain, leave it wet like a snowflake. Hot tub, give me space, you like no way. That's a red flag, bitch, Olay. Fight last night's ass, cat ears and shit.
just got to call her or she always fucking calling me or she call me stuff <laughs> or don't call me that. <laughs> she like the way I look at her. She like that I am hard to please. I can't fucking help it, bro. These cat girls always fall for me. They all try to fix me. Uh, fucking switch up like a blade on me. Uh, got a handcuff, put chains on me, bitch. I don't give a fuck. Do not try to change me. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, wow. Fine, last, nice, ass, catters, and she, ooh, ooh, uh. <laughs> What's she call me senpai uh, for? Don't call me, I'm not a weeb. <laughs> You're not a weeb, and yet you make references to stuff like Death Note and all your videos are anime. But yeah. anyway, we're not going to call about on uh, blatant lies in the song. Um, what do you think of that song? Man, that's kind of got a funky groove to it, man. Oh yeah, I uh, the opening line "Make a stack, Pepe laugh" is probably one of my favorite things around. Also, the line that you just quoted, I I use that all the time now. Uh, which, which one? <laughs> Fine last night, ass. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I've used that a few times, and people are like, "What are you saying?" Is this why you <laughs> started just saying "ooh" randomly to me? This song might have caused it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Gosh. I think I'm on trends. I just picked them up late. <laughs> I, I think you're a closet weeb and you didn't even know what a weeb is. <laughs> I know what a weeb is. Um, but um, So what do you think of the fact that this guy is really combining nerd culture with pretty intense music? I'm just trying to think if this is done you. before. It, like this isn't uh, i i do think there's anime rap i've heard anime rap before but nothing quite as again this, like corpse just sounds menacing when he raps even this song even though it's it's blatantly meant to be pretty funny it, it's kind of menacing oh yeah it's it's funny cuz you and i are both playing through doom i e get right. back to playing doom and no. anyway. <laughs> God damn it. No. And he seems like he could be like the voice of Satan or one of the demons in the game. Yeah. Like completely. And that's just his normal voice, I guess. It is. And and again, I want to clarify to you, it absolutely is his real voice. Um it's it's kinda sad that it comes from Gerd. Uh, and he even referenced it in another song. He says um he's got acid on his vocals, but that's the price he's gotta pay. Because it gives him this voice and it lets him do well what you're hearing, right? Right. But I mean, geez, he's got a no face reference since this song. He's got a Pepe Laugh reference, which um, you know what Pepe Laugh is, right? I do, like but a, what's a who or what's no face? Uh, no face isn't just another anime reference. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. And then of course, yeah, he's got the cat ears references. He talks about senpai. Uh, the fact that he's not a weeb. I mean, there's so many references just in this minute and a half song. It's pretty obvious that he's probably is i mean i guess a weeb has to be really intensely into japanese culture not just it's not, not just, just anime, anime. It's, oh yeah so i guess maybe that's the line he's drawing i don't know but what do you think man uh you may have turned me on to liking corpse and actually understand that he even exists <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what did you think of the twitch staff line because the first time i heard that i scoffed for about a minute straight I, I missed it, so it says she sucked me and I do not give her bands. I feel like Twitch staff clipped that. Hey, uh, <laughs> did something like that happen in, on Twitch or something? There's, oh God, we don't want to get into this, but there's accusations at Twitch to do with things like this um, about why they don't ban some people for certain actions versus others. I'm not getting into that. We're not getting in trouble with Twitch. No. It's just really funny that he ends it off with clip that in other words take a clip of me saying this don't yep. take a clip of us saying this again. um <laughs> no no i'm not hopping in on whether or not the controversy is true but it is a running joke that twitch doesn't ban certain people and they ban others for mm. the exact same thing so yep i just thought it was really funny and it was pretty aggressive that it came out of nowhere <laughs> oh that's good uh no i really like the song uh and this is going to sound like a fucking newbie-ass question, but does he, does he have, like, any albums? Or are they all just, like, singles that he releases? No, uh, he has, as far as I know, I think he has seven or eight singles, and then they're all on his, um, it's not called Corpse Music. It's, he has his Corpse Husband channel, which I encourage everyone to check out. Uh, I really do support this guy. Um, which is, like, his older kind of horror stories. Then he has a channel that's called Corpse with a little music symbol beside it, which is his seven or eight songs he's released. Yeah. And then I think he has a gaming channel, but it's it hasn't gotten the official tag yet. 
And because I'm afraid that it might not actually be him, I don't want to refer to it directly on this video. Mm. Um, but yeah, and then he has another song called L.A. Rain, which he never intentionally put out um, that's been leaked. And he has another hidden song that you have to know the URL to get to, and it's called My Very Real Future with 50 Cent. Oh, wow. It's not it's not really 50 Cent, but it's pretty friggin' funny. Um, yeah, so he has, I think, nine songs at this point, if I'm doing my math right. I'm just checking to see if he's on Spotify, actually, just to see. He, oh, yeah, he's on Spotify. He's on Spotify, and he's been uh, fighting with Spotify quite a bit. Apparently, they won't promote his music. I don't know if it's because it's very, very R-rated music, or if it's because, um, you know, they just he's he's a single artist without any support from the industry. Yep. Uh, but he's been fighting with Spotify to get himself on playlists because he feels like he's getting less views than he should be. Because they refuse to put him on things even when he's like the number one song of the week. I wonder why. Also, you get one guess as to what his top song is on uh, Spotify. It's either E Girls or Agoraphobic. Uh, that's E Girls are one. Agoraphobic is two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like agoraphobic, but it's it's less entertaining. I would listen to that Aegis on your own time. It, it's one of those songs. It's more mellow that it kind of it's harder to react to, but it's also very it, it's a clearly an emotional song for him. So uh -huh. I check it out if you have time. But yeah, and then um, Cabin Fever and Never Satisfied. He yells like he does. I know you like metal and you like like screamo and stuff. So. If you want to hear more of his yelling, th those are two songs you would check out. Yeah, because he was pretty good, so I should give that a listen to as well. I also yeah. just realized in my uh, when I opened up Spotify, uh, it showed my custom playlist on the left, so that's kind of funny. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone just learned what an awful music taste you have. Um, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see the playlist, guys, so I don't actually know what he's got there, but I swear to God, if it's Britney Spears or something. Um, oh, baby, yeah. baby, it's not. <laughs> Yeah, I, I still You're so have toxic. Some of that <laughs> okay. I still have some of that stuff on my phone because <laughs> have, of I never cut it there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have to cut it there. Um, <laughs> all right, guys, we're joking around. I actually do have toxic on my phone because I kept songs from when I was in like grade eight, grade nine. Um, <laughs> but no, we're tough metalheads. We never admit to that in public. I don't have any Backstreet Boys songs on my phone or like five of them or anything. Anyway, all right, guys, <laughs> we're cutting it off there. <laughs> Later, guys.